Hey everybody, it's time for this month's Comic Bento unboxing. This month's theme is The Little Guy. So basically it's full of stories that are all with that, so I guess a little guy. So they included five graphic novels this month, and I'm just going to go through them. I already read them, um, with the exception of one, and I am really sorry, but I just ran out of time. But I wanted to tell you what I thought of each one of them. So the first one I wanted to include was by Valiant. The comic is called Divinity. And um, if you remember my last unboxing, there was a Valiant comic that I really loved. This one was also very good. However, I have kind of a weird pet peeve when things are trying to be existential and really like poignant for the sake of being weird. And this kind of had that um, going for it. It was very good. It was well drawn. The storyline was sound. It just I just felt like it was trying a little too hard, so I don't think I would continue reading it, but it was a good read. I enjoyed it. I just probably wouldn't continue the series. So again, that was Divinity, and the next one was my favorite, and um, this one, I was actually really excited to see that it was by Oni Press. Oni Press is probably my favorite label. Um... Back in the day, I used to read pretty much everything they put out, and um, I was glad to see that they're still putting out really good stuff since I don't read as many comics. I wasn't really as um, educated about what they're putting out right now, so I was really happy to see they're still putting out stellar stuff. This one is called The Life um, After. It was a really amazing story, and I am definitely continuing this one. Um, it's kind of a cool story. It's all about kind of like the afterlife Um it's not really like purgatory, it's not really like heaven, it's hell, it's its own kind of thing. It was really unique. The whole concept of God, everything, Satan, was very different than any portrayal of that I've ever seen. So it was a really fascinating story. So I really liked this one. I highly recommend it. Um, the art was really different and unique. Um, it had, you know, it wasn't just your typical Jim Lee looking stuff. So I really like it. But that's generally what I expect from Oni Press. So thanks, Oni Press. I love this. The next one was Witch and Wizard, The Battle for Shadowland. Um, this is by IDW, which usually is hit and miss for me, most of their titles. Some of the titles I really like, some of them I didn't. I thought this one was okay. Um, I thought the art was really cool. It was uh, different. The storyline was neat. But I was a little confused because... Um, Okay, well, that actually, I didn't actually see this until now. It says this is between the first and the second one. So this is kind of like a prequel, sequel kind of thing. I didn't realize that because I did feel like I was missing a lot of the storyline. I think I would go, I would be willing to go back and read that first one because I do kind of want to know more. And I felt like I was thrown into this storyline. So I didn't really fully understand what was going on. Um, so I was a little confused and that's what kept me from enjoying it more. But it was good otherwise. So that's actually good to know. I learn something every day, don't we? And the next one was the Project Superpowers, the Chapter 2. Um, I didn't like that it was Chapter 2. I was kind of sad about that because I have no idea what happened in Chapter 1. Um, I read it. It was okay. Um, Alex Ross did all the covers, so, you know, obviously those are amazing. And I think he did, um, I think he helped write it, too. I didn't, I didn't even really look. I just, I'm just pretty sure if I remember correctly. Yeah, the plot was by him as well. So, I mean, it was good. It was just, I'm not a huge superhero fan, and I'm even less of a gold mage superhero fan. And this is very much kind of a modern day take on the gold mage superheroes. So because that's just not really my personal genre, it was good. And I'm sure this is great for people that like that genre. It just wasn't really mine. So I was a little bored by it. Um, like I said, it's kind of, I'm just thinking I'm the wrong demographic for this one. And lastly was Ant-Man. Now, I'm going to not lie. I did not read this one, um, but I'm going to. I just ran out of time. It looks really good. The art is great. Um, and I'm actually really, I actually have never read an Ant-Man comic, so I'm really curious to read it. I haven't seen the movie yet, and I really want to see the movie. So I wouldn't mind reading it to kind of have some background about um, before I go see the movie. So... Um, but it looks really cute. I like how it's small. I actually wish more comics were this size because I am running out of room. So if you're out there listening, publishers, we don't have that much room in a modern day world. So please make more things small. So anyway, um, yeah, I will read it and then maybe I'll let you know in the next unboxing what I thought of it. So 
Anyway, thank you guys so much for joining me, and I'm sorry this one was a little short, but I appreciate it, and I'll see you next month. Bye!